So this house is a 3 room HDB flat and it's one of the smallest uh, 3 room HDB in Singapore so it's 62 square meters and we'll be sharing with you all how we made the space work with space saving innovative Taobao items Okay so we'll start off with our entrance so as you can see our entrance area is kind of demarcated by our floral tiles that we bought from Singapore um, and then this is our shoe rack so we got the shoe rack off from Taobao and it's a swivel so it really saves a lot of space and one one like level can put about three pairs of shoes so the height and number of levels is actually uh, you can get a higher or shorter one depending on your space so after you wear your shoes right and where do you go you have to go and sit down so we got this uh, it's a small settee that we got from Taobao so uh, we really like it because of the color which coincides with our tiles as well as our shelves so after you sit down you wear your shoes and then you just flip it up so we like it because it's, it's flush and looks very aesthetically pleasing okay then after you wear your shoes you can check out your style make sure your outfit everything is okay um, so this is actually the DV box but what we did is we, did, we put mirrors on it so that um, yeah, you can check yourself out um, we also put in like we have a pole that we got from Taobao to hang our uh, umbrellas, we have our accordion chairs here, we have our plastic bags and whatever not here. So yeah. So we also have our shelves. So we got this shelf as well as the clock off from Taobao. So we as you can see we got it in like a wood green theme. Um, we actually didn't get it from the same seller as the set it area. So we are really really thankful that the colour scheme as well as the grains actually matched. So yeah, we actually got the shelves to maximize the like vertical space as well as to display some of our stuff so it doesn't feel so cluttered on like our TV console and our tables. Okay, so now we're going to the kitchen and uh, actually for our three room flat right, it actually came with like a storeroom. So it's an actual storeroom, it's not a bomb shelter. So what it allowed us to do is that we could hack down like half of it. So we hack down this area to open the kitchen up a little um, and then we put a few in uh, oven as well as a microwave here and more storage area for us. Um, we also included these like glass panels and the reason for it was because uh, we wanted we couldn't really decide between a closed or open concept so we decided to have one where we could close it when we wanted to and open it when we wanted to. So okay then for the rest of the kitchen um okay so for the rest of the kitchen you can see here this is our fridge so um, due to the space constraint right in this area, um, our ID actually recommended us to get a French door, so a two door instead of a one big door, so that the swinging area is smaller. So that's one thing we did. Um, and then as you can see here, we have our dishwasher. So if you've been following us, you'll know that we are in love with the dishwasher. And despite the space constraint, a uh, counter space constraint that we have, right? I think it was a really good buy. So we got this off from Taobao, and yeah, it's great for us or even for just two of us or even if we have like a group party and stuff like that yeah okay then on this side we have a counter space we have our rice cooker from Taobao and we also got this shelf so these shelves are from Taobao and um it was after we moved in and a few months from staying here that we decided to build the shelves uh, because we felt that it was getting a bit too cluttered so it allowed us to store our rice storage bin here uh, our kettle and other items lah, so that it is not on the countertop. Okay, and then as we move in, okay, we have our trusty towel rack holder from Taobao. It looks very simple, but it's so good to dry stuff. Um, then we also got an induction cooker. So, um, <laughs> we actually didn't get an induction cooker by choice because our block doesn't have pipe government gas. So if we wanted to get gas, we needed to get a canister which would mean that our space below will be occupied la. So we got um, induction cooker but we realised that it was actually a great choice because um, our yard room is just behind so sometimes when we have to fold clothing or even if like I decide to bake right and because of counter space limitations then this acts up as more counter space for us and that can't be possible if you have a gas stove la. So just to point out some unique um, or more special storage things that we did. So the first one is our spice rack. So we actually got this where it's a kind like a double trolley thing going on. We actually got advice by the carpenter to say that in the long run, right, this might break because it's only tied to the bottom. 
Um, so we've been storing the heavier stuff at the top and the lighter stuff at the bottom so that it doesn't spoil so fast. Yeah. I also come with soft clothing. How about amazing? Okay, and then we also have here um, some plate organizer. So it might not look like much, uh, but it actually helps with the clanging of the plates. Lah. So our other drawer, right, we don't have it and it clangs around quite a bit, but this helps us um, in reducing the noise as well as the plates are constantly moving around. Yeah. And then last but not least is this. So um, because this storage area is very high, so we actually found it on top of our So it allows us to pull down for easy access. So generally for both of us, we don't need to pull down for these two, but sometimes we store extra stuff up there, so we will use it that way. Yeah. Then. Ta da! Okay, so now we're at the yard room and I think the first thing you'll notice is our cabinets. So we have built-in cabinets to also cover up the piping because there were exposed piping and we thought it was ugly. Uh, we also had a cut-out area for a washing machine and storage area for us to put our detergent, toilet paper, whatever, not. Uh, then you will also notice our electronic dryer. So we got this from Taobao and the main reason why uh, is because Back then, we thought that the hanging area outside was not sufficient and if we were going to be working in the office, uh, it would be quite troublesome if it rains and our clothes get wet. Uh, so here are a few features of the drying rack. So firstly, you can go up and down. Uh, and it will also auto-stop. So like, if, let's say you are here. Oh, okay, maybe not this. Maybe here. Yeah, and it stops. Uh, it also has light, built-in light. Uh, it has the UV UV lighting so that for you to sanitize Q germs or whatever not. Um, there is regular wind setting, so it's not hot wind, it's just like air. And then there's an option for hot air. So when we do the hot air, we actually close up the windows and um, the kitchen area so that it becomes like a heating area inside here. Yeah, so um it's actually able to expand. Um, a lot more uh, but our space area does not allow for it uh, but overall it's been great lah because we have been able to hang quite a few number of articles of clothing uh, and even towels so for towels we use this which is from Taobao so it allows us to hang like three towels which uses less space in terms of like as compared to hanging it here you know okay so as you can see in this other corner it's a bit messy but this is how we live <laughs> so this is our uh, laundry rack uh, we actually got this set with these two small baskets from Taobao So actually this is able to fold and flatten So it's great because when we uh, don't have any laundry then we just slot it in so it's neater uh, We have our recycling area So uh, actually there's a lot of things to be recycled so we put them here We store our foldable chairs at the corner here as well So uh, this is basically our yard room And now we are onto our living room Okay, so this is our dining table. It may not look like one, uh, but actually we got this from Taobao where you can actually collapse it and open it. So it's a bit manual because uh, you really have to pull, you have to clip it under the table and all that. Uh, but I think this is so worth the buy because when we have friends over, uh, large groups, like groups of 8, groups of 10, we are able to extend it fully. So um, as you can see here, all, uh, all the panels are so there are up to four panels uh, and it expands to about like I think 1.8 meters. So it's great because when it's just two of us, we're able to keep it um, and then make our living room more spacious but then when needed, we can expand it to accommodate to like our guests and all the dining stuff. Yeah, so with it being more compact, right, we are also able to bring up more bulky items like our automatic mahjong table. So it won't feel so cluttered, it won't feel like we have to like squeeze through, squeeze through nooks and crannies just to get to it. So this is, yeah, it's adaptable lah. It's really great for our three-room flat. Okay, so next is our sofa. So our sofa is actually from Taobao as well. Uh, we actually got it to be of the same length as our TV console, which matches in front the length. Uh, and the reason why we got this sofa, right, is because of how versatile it is. So uh, the sofa, the sofa, right, can actually be pulled out to be like a lounge area. It can also be pulled out further to be a sofa bed. Uh, there's the backrest can also be put in front to be a table um, and you also have all these functional things like a side rest to put your 
food, you have all these nooks and crannies to put your other whatever not items, you know, your midnight snacks maybe when you're watching shows. Uh, it also came with these cushions, these three cushions. Um, it was a different cover though, it was actually weed. <laughs> so we got this customized uh, pillow covers all from Taobao as well to change it up. So um, there's no more weed in the house. So yeah. Okay, so this is our sofa storage area uh, where you are able to put some small items. So as you can see, we utilized it slightly but not the best. Okay, next we have our TV console. So same as our sofa and our dining table, we actually got it all from Taobao. So the great thing about Taobao is that you know it allows you to make things more customizable. So we actually customized the we got the TV console length to be customized to our wall length, uh, and then we chose the color and everything. So um, surprisingly, right, a lot of Taobao items come with soft clothing. Yeah, so like it doesn't slam. Uh, there's quite a bit of compartments that allows us to hide our items, uh, allows us to put our TV box so it's exposed, uh, and then we decorated with some of our other items as well. And then, um, so the interesting thing about China items is that uh, most of them are actually optimized such that the height allows for robot cleaners to move around. So we managed to find a uh, great spot for our robo cleaner so we actually put it underneath so that um, it's not like randomly around the house and all so this is Benny our automatic robot cleaner's home okay so this is our storeroom okay so our storeroom is made out of many parts but for one um, we actually got the storage racks off from Taobao because it's quite expensive in Singapore um, and then over here on this smaller rack we actually um, use it for all our camera, video, whatever not equipment, um, the more tech stuff lah. Then we have our not so used items at the bottom, um, and then these two are our frequently used items, and then we have more storage stuff <laughs> that should be in the storeroom. Uh, we have our ironing board, our iron, then we also have our vacuum cleaner together with its vacuum cleaner holder attached to the side of the wall for easy storage. So that's all to our humble storage room. Okay, so this is our home gallery. <laughs> it's actually paintings from Chris and I at our like our own work bonding activity or when we went uh, painting together, art jamming. Uh, and then we also have this random quote here um, because when I bought something from this local artist then it was on the envelope so it was really pretty so I decided to put it up together with the rest of our artwork because it's the art. So yeah, welcome to our art gallery. Okay, and then this is our common bathroom. Uh, our common bathroom is actually has a lot wider entrance than usual because uh, it's actually catered for the older people who have like wheelchair access. So uh, as you can see here, this is our adult bathtub. We did a video on it, so if you're interested, can go watch it. Uh, we have our washing area, our mirror with storage from Taobao as well, uh, our showering area with accessories from Taobao, and then <laughs> okay, so just a brief, uh, like I guess a preview of our bathtub is that um, we decided to get it because we both our master bedroom and our common toilet has quite a bit of space uh, and to enjoy the comforts of a bathtub in our HDB, affordable one was the best. So actually not very thick, um, it's quite, I mean it's collapsible lah, so what more can you ask for? So we usually leave it here, when we want to use it, then we just expand it and then we fill it up with water. Okay, so this is our spare room and also doubles up as our work from home, study room as well. So you can see that we have some of our drums and guitars set here. We have our um, study table that we got from Taobao. So we also did a video on it, you can go watch it to see how we set it up and how easy it was. Um, yeah, and then at the corner here, see our automatic mahjong table, our air purifier. So um, we actually customized the, we got a customized length for our study table so that it fits nicely um, and everything. So there's quite a bit of storage area, I mean there are shelves at the top and the bottom so we are able to maximize the space um, for the study room also. Okay so because um, we have only like one spare room right, so we were intentional that we didn't one any built-in items in this room so if let's say we need to change it up to a guest room or even a baby room then we can just dismantle everything uh, and then put in whatever furniture we need. Okay 
Okay, and this is our master bedroom. So our master bedroom, uh, it's just a regular size. But as you can see, we actually have built-in wardrobe all the way from here to the end. Uh, that's because we have quite a bit of clothes and bags lah, huh? So, uh, we had to do that. But there's actually sufficient walking space here lah. So, uh, it's not an issue. Um, and I think one unique thing about our room is that we actually got our bed, our storage bed frame from Papa as well. Um, and the, the challenge though was that we didn't want a storage bed that opened from the end here, right? Because that's not, um, I mean it's quite tight already. So what we managed to do is we managed to find a storage bed that opens from the side. Okay, yeah, so we got a storage bed that opens from the side. So it gives us more space to like pack and store whatever not. Um, and then we also have this cute tiny bedside table. So actually the bedside table, um, we could only get it from Taobao because it was such a small space. But then most bedside tables are minimally like a lot wider. Yeah, so that's the great thing about Taobao because you can find almost like anything you need. Uh, and then at the end, that's my bedside table. So my bedside table has this wall pack. Um, I mentioned it in one of my other videos. Uh, it's so great because it gives me more space but uh, at the vertical wall compared to having my bedside table being very cluttered. So now let's move on to the toilet. Okay, and then here we have our master toilet. So our master toilet, we actually have this uh, mirror. So the mirror for Taobao, we got it because um, it has lighting. It's supposed to be a smart one, but because we turn it off, so the clock now just acts as a timer for us. Uh, but there's also storage. So you can open this panel, this big one, as well as this last one. So it's great because then it doesn't look so cluttered on like the tabletop. Yeah, and then we also have the same uh, pad that we have for the common toilet. We have our toilet bowl, and then we have our shower area. So our shower area um, is able to fit our bathtub as well, and it's because we measured it uh, so that it will fit inside here if we want it to be here. Okay, so our wardrobe is, uh, I mean, quite normal, but the challenge we had was that because we had this corner unit, so we wanted to maximize the corner unit as much as possible. So uh, one thing we did was that on this side, right, we actually have this um, hands pull out rack, so it allows us to hang the pants um, in a more neat manner. Uh, but I do have to say that the gap is a bit small, so taking it in and out is a bit troublesome. Uh, but other than that, I think it's very functional. It is great. And then for our corner unit, uh, we actually have for me because of all my dresses, so we actually got this pencil thing. Uh, so you're supposed to be able to turn it and like see your selection of dresses. Uh, but because of the constraint and having to have this area right, like you can't turn it and close with this here. So because of that, I just see my dresses like this. But I think it's great because it allows the longer like the maxi dresses to droop down, uh, and the shorter ones to just. La. Yeah, so it really maximizes the corner unit space and um, yeah we feel that there's not much space wastage as you can see all the clothes are really packed together <laughs> very well. So yeah, okay so thank you for watching the video but before you go we just wanted to share that our YouTube channel was created when we were you know uh, buying items from Taobao for this house. We realized that Taobao had so many options it was a lot affordable but the main issue that most people had was navigating or learning how to buy from top of the big items so you know if you find such content useful or you want to see more do subscribe to us give us a like and uh, comment if you have any questions and then we'll see you in the next video bye bye